So I'm all fired up to go long line. And the water, we had a big snow. And then it's starting to warm up. Now we're just having another little cool spell. Had clouds for two or three days. Now the sun's out for the first day, which is gonna be bad. Was going to Darbone. Water's over the road at Stowe Creek. So I think we're going to Caney and uh, try to get them out. I'm taking off my Darbone colors and putting on Caney colors. More natural, because the water's clear. You're talking about a, two different lakes that can be so far apart in technique. It's crazy. It's tough conditions, but well, we've been trying to go get them. I found it. Thank you. Uh-huh. Anybody been bragging? Yeah, but you can't find one That's what I'm after. Looks like we need to fish at the dock. Let's go fishing. I'm gonna put these on. It's a little chilly. Coots and brothers. right here. There's a creek running through here. I'm gonna follow that creek. It's a big flat north side of the lake. It's uh, 54 degrees. It's about a bite. They ought to chase something. So let's see what we can do. There's one close to the bottom. God, I'm just gonna run six today. Of course, I'm using a Duck Commander Series B&M trolling poles. I really like them for long lining because they're stiff. They got a fast tip on them, but they got the backbone, so they're just right for long lining. And you always want to throw the one closest to the motor first. That way you can throw out and you're not tangling up everything. I'm using 116 and I'm trying to target 8 to 12 foot of water. I'm just seeing if they're out here. They may be shallower than that. Water's 54 degrees. That's a good sign. Got fin spins and slab curlies. I do got a double cross on one just to see, to make sure. They bite it and don't bite the fin spins. I know they don't want that flash. Now I just sit back, watch my pole. Uh oh, got one. Good. I don't think that's a crappie. If it is, it's a good, oh, it is a crop. How about that? Sitting right on the edge of this channel, right where it's supposed to be, moving on up. They're moving on up. 160. That's a good one.
Let's check it again. I ain't got another scale like him in my left boy. 165, I got a better weight. Almost a pound and a half. Good one. All right. He wasn't on a thin spin, but he was on a slab curly. So we'll have to keep that in mind. See what the next one comes on. Well, we're catching fish. Just not the right kind. But I don't care. They're fun to kick. I tie a loop knot on all of them. Just because. I just like that head to be for, I think it does more action. Because it leaves that you're not tightened down tight to the eye. Run it through there three times. Hold on to the jig head and pull your slack down. Bite off the excess and there you go. Now you got a free jig head. Ready for it. I'm gonna check some of my moss backs out here. Make sure they ain't done got real shallow, shallow. And uh, it's a bluebird day. It's just tough. You just gotta grind it. Just gotta grind it. They ain't chasing that. Caught three bass and a big crappie on long line. I got one more deep spot I can do that on. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go look at it in a minute. But right now I'm gonna go look at these shallow kind of not quite in the back of the pocket, but it almost. I mean, we're right at the end of it. It's been cloudy, raining. Water temperature is colder than normal. Caught one good and caught three bass there. It's just tough. I went to the shallows just to check and make sure they hadn't went back there. They wasn't there. It's just tough, you gotta grind. But hey, it was a great time. I always love being on the water. It's awesome. So we'll see y'all next time. Be sure and like and subscribe and leave us some comments. See if we can, we'll try to answer them for you. But anyway, Catch y'all next week.